to film. My father used to organize all these concerts, uh, uh, Ra Rag Rajat, that this was to honor Aruna Lama. And that time Narayan Gopal was there and they all stayed at my house actually. I've watched Narayan Gopal and I've watched um, Ambar Gurung, I've watched with Aruna Lama and Gagan Gurung is also one of the uh, very important musicians of Darjeeling actually. Uh, and then of course my father who gave all the support to all these musicians because even though he didn't really sing, he's a good singer, but he, even though he didn't do that, he used to create all the orchestras for them and give them the backing. And Because he was in the police and he couldn't really be in the foreground, so he used to provide all the infrastructure for them to, to go and do their shows and all that. Mr. Nain Zumba, he is uh, an artist himself. So you see, he tried in the 70s uh, an uh, organization called Lamp, I think, literature, art, music, and prose poem, whatever it is. But he couldn't make it big. He could not. He tried to bring in all the artists together. Okay? Uh, how many pictures were successful? Okay, no? Because we have so narrow scope here. To add to the sordid state of things came an agitation that would engulf the hills and throw into disarray normal life for the following half a decade or so. Everything got affected because of that. Not only the sports and music, so many things like education and everything. For Absolutely, yeah, for more than 14, 15 uh, years. And in that kind of environment, yeah, yeah, because these are all fine arts, these are all uh, creative uh, things. That, that, and how can, you, how, can you, how can you create beautiful things? Mm. Under under such stressful conditions, under under no no can do. Things took a wrong turn, and people were being caught and jailed for nothing. You know, everybody took uh, the thing the thing up. Everybody in Dazzling, even the cats and dogs, were involved in that. Uh, in that, uh, I can't call it a revolution. It's uh, like uh, that fight for freedom. You no, know, that moment. Yeah. The guidelines to succeed in pursuing music takes on more meaning these days with access to better instruments and boundless opportunities. Sure enough, bands like Mantra have swept the hills with a new brand of Gorkali rock. But the current scene seems a pale shadow of its prolific history. As many opine, Darjeeling has seen its prime. The music just a fond shred of memory for old timers to cherish and recollect with nostalgia. Or have the winds of change already arrived? And is there going to be a revival? That is um, behind us now. People are looking more you know, forward, you know, thinking about progressing. It's difficult to pinpoint on one particular reason. The journey that began in Darjeeling brought many issues to light. But above all, it was a case of circumstances giving way to causes. Every place has a history, and Darjeeling has one that was rich in music, is and will forever be. For take note of the present, and more such names will be remembered. If, if my son today says I would like to make a living, uh, by making music, I would sort of like finance them completely. I hope that there will be a music school in Darjeeling where people can actually learn to read and write music. And that is one of the reasons why maybe we could not uh, 
compose music. It's in the head. We play it. Tomorrow, we forget what we uh, what we know. Mm-hmm. If we could have written it down, yes. uh, maybe that would be possible. Uh, my daughter is learning how to play the piano. She reads music. So hopefully, uh, there will be people like that uh, coming up later who can read and write and help. So that I think would be the uh, the future. I will say you, you know, Zabang on Amro student or Amro Institute, my but Zabang Gore, but you only like Prakarko the real music test pounder. So, only Kig or somebody, I mean, Protek Borsa in your life, the London Trinity College go examination or Rumin in a lime rack song, only got a carry, only a little musical real value with your essay. It doesn't matter, Amro Gore, they saw. Yes, there are a lot of people interested in music now. And and very very good musicians are coming from Daju. Very young, young uh, musicians. They're very very interested in doing it technically correct. I do meet quite a number of young people who are so interested. Like even just the other day, I met one boy, Ashish. He's a fantastic guitarist, and he's from the younger generation. He's from Dajini. Music is always there. of uh, talent and um, the, the whole technique of playing the guitar it's changed so much from our time uh, young lads playing such great music I think what we need is a good studio a studio that is reasonable I mean for anybody to and more platform like buzz to come up we have about eight eight nine bands playing there so I guess every guy walks with about six seven thousand rupees a month, which in Darjeeling is a lot of money. We are uh, opening uh, the buzz kind of restaurants all over. We've opened in Gantok, we're opening one in Guwahati. We plan to open one in Bong- uh, Bangalore. Now the thing, the reason for this expansion is basically so that the band guys have an op- opportunity to go out, okay, because Usually what happens is everybody complains, you know, that there's no real uh, mu- music scene in Dajling because you know, there's no scope. We should have a world standard school over here, music school. But not just a music school, a music school of international standard. So that in Darjeeling only these boys will achieve a world standard expertise in music. And from there, they can then take off. They'll have that kind of foundation where they can face any challenges that come anywhere in the world. And when Louis Banks was here, uh, he was also interested to open a music college. So uh, I was definitely thinking of a music college in Darjeeling, you know, something in the lines of, I don't know, Berkeley or something like that, you know, which has not happened in India. So if that can materialize and I'll be very much part of it, very much. I'm sure that yes, we would um, not only restore Tajiling's past glory, but you know, maybe even bypass it, hopefully. Tajiling's A Surandata is going to be the capital of Western music. You know, when I hear the Yankaman say Western culture, I embrace the Yankaman, but our historical here, Dajin town hall is like in the western. Yet, we have not forgotten our Nepali culture.